I've tried that, it didn't turn it off. That's why I'm using this call. Yeah, I've been here for, for more than for more than twenty minutes. For more than twenty minutes. Yes. Welcome to my house. Let's go in. Tada, tada. Single hallway. Everything is either to your right or to your left. So let's start from the left. My favorite part of the house, the kitchen. For your booby phone storage. This was not here. So it's the storage. I can store anything and everything that I want. This is our fridge and the down part freezer of course then if you go for food already stocked with all the vegetables egg bubu tibu, that you can imagine then here i have all my frozen food chicken soups that i cooked all the egg that i grinded from nigeria and the onubu, frozen onubu, onubu that i came with and frozen edisha they are there here's where we have our microwave I was too tired to organize anything. This was the very day we moved in. I just packed all these items and started dumping them inside the storage like that. It's time we'll start organizing things as it should be. This is my cooking corner. Over everything is functioning with provisions, 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 provision, no provision, no that we came with all our pots that we came with. This is not all, so mine here, of course. Then all the palm oil. I still have another five liter inside, inside there. Yep. Here is nothing here. Washing machine. These are the dirty clothes we wore in Manchester. Okay, and just to the right, opposite the kitchen is a very spacious roomy parlor. See, I kept my picture. Sight my husband over there working from home. See our dining a shoe rack and bag so let's go over to the rooms okay these are the heaters i'm not been showing the heater yeah bedroom toilet it's not not in much uh, yes i don't even know where the all the lights go this one no i did off the kitchen lights this is what the bedroom looks like Simple descent. What oh, is our olden days Nigerian bedroom? That's what I'm not fancy. But one thing I like about this house is plenty mirror, 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 mirror. I mean, I like it, mirror like, like say tomorrow, no day. Let's move it. More mirror, more mirror. So this is daddy room, the boys room. Let's just put it that way. Daddy and the children room, and I love that view. Look at that. The view from this room. Then of course from the parlor you can come out to the balcony and sit down and do chit chat and watch your surrounding. But the room is really, 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 really big. The wardrobe, it's very big. As in video is not even doing justice to it. I already arranged my clothes, but today I'll go and get hangers. I'm going out very soon to get hangers. So just opposite it's Adam Chinobi and no, me and Chick the room. So this one is also big, but of course not as big as that the room. And yes, we don't have pillows in the room, so we'll go out and get pillows as well today. Or we'll get pillows, shall we we'll go out? And the wardrobe is not so big, but it's also big and it would serve. So yes, this is our apartment of... I know you are eager to know the cost of our monthly rent for these two bedroom flats. But before I mention it, kindly come with me to see the garage, which is at the backyard. This is the main entrance where visitors come in through. I just recorded this current clip this morning as I was about taking them Che to school. The road that leads to this backyard is very narrow. If you are fat, you may need to squeeze yourself through. Now this road gaga be the real definition of narrow escape because it's tiny. Here we are, a very large open space that we never came out to during the winter. Thankfully, it is summer now. We often bring the kids out here to play. So those six garages painted white belong to each of the six flats in this building. We don't have a need for them yet because we don't have a car. We started searching for a house 
like two months before coming over to the uk our friends suggested that we should check zoopla.com we should check open rent we should check right move we checked all this website but rightmove.com was where we saw this particular property we are currently living in while looking out for the apartment we had to consider proximity to my husband's workplace we didn't want a place where we have to be going by maybe two buses thankfully this house is close to his workplace he can even trek if he wants but who wants to be trekking <laughs> one important thing you want to check out when you're looking out for a house on any of this website is in case you have children are there closed schools we have no less than four schools in proximity to this house so we just chose the one that is closest to us and just by the bus stop so my husband can drop our son off on his way to work and can pick him back on his way coming back from work so like i mentioned we saw the apartment on rightmove.com and immediately we saw the apartment it was stated that it's available for immediate moving so we contacted the agent but we couldn't go further because we were not in the uk at the moment so immediately my husband came over to the uk the house was still available see god the house was still available nobody had already taken it so my husband booked to see the house and immediately he saw it he sent me a video so since you are not with me i was asked to make a video for you to see so this is one of the living room you can see the bed there is a wardrobe double wardrobe there is a door there that leads to the balcony so this is the balcony at the back that door there leads to the living room and this is the second room this is the heater this is the bed the window tinked wardrobe and reading chair and this is another smaller wardrobe is like a central mirror for everybody there's a toilet there's a bedroom and of course the, where you stay and wash there's another wardrobe at the walkway also i think this is a for washing the floor so and this is the living room these are the things I saw in the living room. It has this chair. I guess be, this will be the dining. See the heater. It's also the chair. There's the lights. So there's a window. And you can have a view of the backyard from here. I think it's a good place. And you have your telephone. And so that is it. I was in shop that day and I, I made a video. You may follow my video stating that my husband has gotten accommodation. He just picked up his PRP yesterday, Tuesday. He applied for a house and today he received the email just now that the landlord has granted his request to take that house. So when he sent me the video, I said, It is fine. I like it. It is okay. It meets my need. It is very big. I mean, the parlor is big. The rooms are big compared to videos that we see people share about the UK house is being small and all that so i told him to go ahead and make payment because here you have to pay what they call holding deposit which is not refundable if you decide to change your mind so i told him i'm not going to be changing my mind you should go ahead and pay the holding deposit but the holding deposit surely counts to your first rent so apart from the holding deposit we were charged a tenancy deposit of 1080 pounds or thereabouts and this money is not doesn't go into pain of house rent the money is the money that in case anytime we move out of this house maybe there's any damage or any missing property the agent will just deduct from the money and refund the rest to us why for the house rent guess how much you're paying as house rent monthly you send the house is two bedroom and one bath and one kitchen and one parlor 950 pounds let me know what you think if this money is too much if the house is okay just share with me your thoughts in the comment section and if it, if there is any more question you wish to ask me please feel free to drop it and i'm going to make videos to answer your question thank you so much for watching my video in case you are not yet subscribed please what are you waiting for don't you like my content kindly do the need for subscribe now yes now i'll see you in my next video bye